I'm going to go over the different editions of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, today, as promised, I want to talk about the four different editions of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. And no, I'm not counting New Light as one of the editions. As well as explain a little bit more about Destiny 2 New Light for everyone out there. Which, pretty much releases the same day. But, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you guys want to see on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. Now, if you do not know what Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is, I made an entire video that explains everything we know so far, and I'll put it in an annotation at the top right of the screen right now. But. Destiny 2 Shadowkeep will be available to play on September 17, 2019. So, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is the next chapter in the Destiny 2 storyline. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said storyline and Destiny 2 in the same sentence. <laughs> Anyways, all jokes aside. First, there was Destiny 2, which started with the Red War and all the DLC that came with it, which was the Curse of Osiris and Warmind. Then came Destiny 2 Forsaken and its DLC. Season of the Forge, Drifter, and Opulence, which we are currently in right now. Next will be Shadowkeep and all of its DLCs, which will be replacing Forsaken as the story goes on, and the last DLC will open up for Destiny 3. As of this video, only one of the DLC for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep has actually been revealed, or at least the name has, but when more information arises, I will let you guys know. So, let's get into the different editions of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. First off, we have the base game, which is the standard edition. Then we have the digital deluxe edition, and then the collector's edition. Now, the standard edition comes with the base game, which consists of new missions and quests, a new destination, well technically new to D2, and dungeon, and an all new raid, and a single, and I'll say it again, a single season pass for the season of the undying, and this standard edition is only $34.99. You can buy it through the PlayStation and Microsoft stores as well as on Steam. Next, we have the Digital Deluxe Edition. This edition comes with everything in the standard version, plus three extra season passes, for a total of four. We also get three exclusive Eris Morm themed items, which are an emote, a ghost shell, and an emblem. And the Digital Deluxe version is $59.99. And you can buy that through the PlayStation and Microsoft stores, Steam, as well as Google Stadia. So yes, Google Stadia will only be available for the Digital Deluxe version. And last but not least is the Physical Collector's Edition. This edition comes with everything that is stated in the previous version, plus the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep original soundtrack, an exclusive Collector's Edition emblem code, a Hive Cryptoglyph replica, which is pretty interesting because if you follow the clues inside a Collector's Edition, you will be able to unlock the secret contents hidden within. So in a sense, it's pretty much a key. I guess the best example you can think of is Think National Treasure. It also has a Metal Luna Mission container that is actually longer than a DVD-sized steelbook, a Luna Mission Handbook, a Luna Journal that has 160 pages of storytelling and art and artifacts from the Golden Age. Now, the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep Collector's Edition costs $149.99, and you can only buy it through the Bungie Store at BungieStore.com. I did say earlier on in the video that there were four editions of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, and the last edition is the Collector's Edition, but with no game code. So this edition contains everything that the previous Collector's Edition does without the Digital Deluxe version of the game. And this only costs $89.99 and can be purchased through the Bungie store as well. Now I hope this gives you guys a little bit of an insight with the different editions for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep and I hope this also helps you decide which edition of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is best for you. Let's get into New Light for Destiny 2. Let me start this off with Destiny 2 New Light will be 100% free. Yes, free. New Light is Bungie's way to allow new kindergartens, huh? Huh? Remember that term? To play the game and all of Destiny 2's year one content without having to buy all of the individual expansions. 
New Light features the Red War Campaign, Curse of Osiris, and the Warmind DLCs. And with a small amount of time, a new Guardian will be able to unlock all of the destinations in Destiny 2, including the Moon, which does come with Shadow Keep, as well as be able to do bounties, patrols, and etc. in each destination. Also, with New Light, a Guardian can do strikes, go into Lost Sectors, Story Missions, the Leviathan Raid, go into Crucible, as well as Gambit with all of their friends. In a sense, New Light will be the new base format for Destiny 2, so if you wanted to do endgame content for Forsaken or Shadowkeep, then those expansions would have to be purchased separately. I mean, you know, you can't get everything free. New Light isn't just for new Guardians. It's also for veterans who want to make a new character. In New Light, when you make a new character, you will go through the mission A Guardian Rises on Earth just like we did in Vanilla Destiny, aka Destiny 1. After completing the mission, you will be transported to the Destiny 2 Tower and then you can start your exciting life as a Guardian protecting the lights. New Light will be released at the same time as Shadowkeep. However, Destiny 2 Forsaken will be dropping in price when Shadowkeep is released, so I guess that's a positive. So, let me know in the comments below which edition of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep you plan on getting. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.